Welcome to Grand Reload. I'm Anthony, and we're going to talk about the LTT Fallout. We're going to start with the Gamers Nexus and LTT side of uh, stuff, and then get into more things after that. But and I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on this as well. Um, this is Steve from Gamers Nexus came out with a video that um, called out LTT in many errors that have been produced here lately um, between their videos with graphs with you know from video cars to coolers to mice to not fully just doing another re-record of voicing over he had some good points throughout that so I do encourage you to spend the 40 minutes to listen to Gamers Nexus video so you can get his point of view of things now um, this did come out after it, the labs team was caught saying that we're doing things differently and kind of, you know, he said differently, you know, this is why we're not like Gamers Nexus and Harbor on Box. Now, Harbor on Box did say something earlier, whereas Gamers Nexus didn't do anything until this Bill at Labs issue kind of came to. Um, the front where Linus said they didn't want to spend extra money to actually test the Billet Labs prototype correctly, which is highly unfortunate. You know, Billet Labs is taking a chance by sending that device out there, and even if that that device may have been too expensive or whatever else to it, I think that it was crucial for them to actually do it on the right cards to have the full you know, experience of what the device was actually intended to do rather than, you know, kind of cramming it into a scenario that didn't, that it didn't look good in and then you made your conclusion off of that. I think that's a mistake that should not have happened and um, Gamers Nexus did point that out and then the fiasco ensues with the prototype being auctioned off at LTT Expo which just, you know, that prototype, that's got to be devastating. I, I hear that they, you know, from the communication they did, that they've already started back down and getting another prototype ready and working on it, et cetera. So kudos to them for that. But it's still a huge toll to take. If you've ever talked to somebody or um, know somebody that's done prototyping and got a product like this and then it is lost or, you know, something happens to it, it is a devastating and a setback to say the least and that should have never happened now we'll get into checks and everything else that maybe you know LTT needs to put into place um, some maybe some of my suggestions you know who knows they'll probably never see this video and ne never even take a look at it that's fine but I think that there are different things they can come with the same conclusions without me even saying them to them right so th this whole fiasco kind of started and it got rolling here and then as soon as that happened Linus posted a uh, response and I'll post a response up here real quick here this is on the LTT forms or Linus, yeah, Linus, LinusTechTips.com forms and he goes through and everything I'll post this in the comment below but as he goes through, right, his, this response here seemed to be a little hasty. Um, granted, it's a couple hours after, and he's going through, you know, what he did with uh, Bill at Labs. He, you know, he was talking about, you know, that the journalistic in what he says here, disappointment, he expresses disappointment to Steve because of products or journalistic practices in creating this piece. He yeah, has my email and number along with numerous other members of our team. He could have asked us for a context that we may have proven to be valuable. Like the fact we didn't sell the model block, but rather auctioned it for charity due to miscommunication. And I'm glad that that prototype did not get into competitors' hands because if, like Billet's doing some uh, interesting work over there. I looked at their site a little bit and uh, I haven't done too much about it but they're working on stuff and let's say that gets into a competitor that's bigger that can throw more money at it all of a sudden they're underwater before even getting started because somebody else has it right that's not really really kind of cool for that aspect now Linus wanted Gamers Nexus to reach out 
he doesn't need to, but um, doing just the reaching out, was it to kind of change his mind about something? Because, you know, in the video that he did, he didn't have stuff where I think that it would have been, hey, uh, change this, we did this differently. For the most part, it seems like they it's pretty factual on the stuff you've missed and how your corrections were or even doing having you know in place video replacement I don't I mean I'm a small youtuber I don't have that luxury that's uh, that's that's not really kind of fun to have either so this is just a very disappointing response especially how it starts out and to my team and my CEO's team, but realistically, he goes, I was at the helm with these heirs. I need to own it. I'm stressed the importance of diligence in our work because there's so many eyes on us. We are going through some growing pains, but we are had very, very public about them in the interest of transparency. It's clear we have some work to do of internal processes and communication. We've already been doing a lot of work internally to clean up our processes, but these things take time. Rome wasn't built in a day, but that's no excuse for sloppiness. So he's like, we're going to go, you know, clean up these errors. But on the next statement, he goes, and he, what's interesting here is he's going to clean up these errors. Now, are those errors going to be cleaned up for, um, f how, how are those errors going to get cleaned up, right? Are they, um, you know, somebody else going to check on them? Because when you say, I don't want to spend an extra $500 to retest this product correctly in the Bill's lab case that he sit on the WAN show, that kind of shows, well, there is a limit to when I'm going to be, oh, the errors are going to be owned, right? Otherwise, the errors are just going to stay out there. I didn't know, you know, what that context is. It was kind of disappointed in there that you didn't kind of explain that so um you know in all of this right linus is going on and he goes to the community saying you know we're wearing imperfections on our sleeves are you just showing them off to everybody on your sleeve or are you wearing them on your sleeve because that's what you want to do to correct them right usually when you wear stuff on your sleeve you're showing everybody what it is um and then your actions show that you've corrected it maybe this isn't the case now while this is all happening right there is a response video to this that uh, gamers nexus did do to point out some of the more of the billet labs timeline of what actually happened as linus goes through and you know gamers nexus has the timeline they verified it and it doesn't line up with what linus said so there there is uh, there is some of that that is very disappointing. Now, Linus, you know, you know, he mentions the CEO here, the new CEO, and this new CEO is jumping in, and he's he's got a lot to deal with here. But that's what he's paid for to be as a CEO. But Linus is still the owner, and so is Yvonne. They need to be um, owners of this, um, you know, or owners of the company, I should say. And, you know, it's difficult to take ownership. It's difficult to be humbled. I fully understand that it might be difficult to see that I'm, you know, in this case, you made a huge mistake. But that's something that you're going to have to take ownership of and have to try to go, here, I need to make this change. You know, he was saying he was reading the room wrong. Well, kind of... You know, you put out all these videos of the, you know, what is a million dollar computer, ten thousand dollar computer, whatever, with all these big flashy things. Why wouldn't you think that the people also, the consumers also, and the people also watching your video maybe want to see the Built Labs thing rip? Just let it go. And I get he mentioned it here, but why wasn't you know that thought of first? I mean, if you didn't have all the products in stock. I get they're on a tight schedule and they're doing a lot of videos, but to take a step back and just, you know, come out and do it right, take a step back, I, I don't get what the big issue is. Now, I'm not in there internally of why they have to drive for so many videos and to hit so many things. I don't, I don't know that, but it's, it's disappointing to see a product. And if you've ever seen me do a review and I try... I, it's okay to make mistakes. 
and I'm not trying to bash Linus for making a mistake or not. We've all been there. We've all made a mistake. At the same time, you know, there's a reason why it takes me forever to get out of review. You know, I have a day job and kids and wife and everything else. And YouTube is just a side thing I like to do. I like to talk tech. And uh, <laughs> it makes me talk tech with you guys rather than, you know, some people that are uninterested in it. I think that's kind of the biggest thing is that, you know, I get, a, I get an outlet for my tech stuff. Um, but the you know, when you're trying to push and everything else, you know, it's different if you're doing a commentary thing or you're looking at stuff and putting in your own context than it is, hey, here's a review, and people are going to be looking at that of a buying option. And you come with the mindset where I've done, I've ran data, and I've noticed I've screwed up something at the end, and all that data, all those hours and hours of testing I had to redo, um, it's not fun, but it's something that you have to take a look at and do. And that's kind of what Gamers Nexus was going through and doing. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing that we have to be mindful of each time we put out a video on reviews. Um, everybody does, right? You want to try to put it out so that the consumer that is looking at the product or looking at the video, looking at your article, has the best information and if you screw something up in a graph and you don't correct it that can be a huge detriment so I want to kind of get off this um, this uh, whole screen I'll post a link below and you can read it and you can go through it but this is kind of you know the whole side of things that was happening of last response then that went through and had a response from gamers nexus which I mentioned he went through all the, all the billet labs, and this kind of spiraled into the Linus Tech Tip um, video response with the CEO. I think it was a very bad taste overall of what they did, and this response video was leaving much to be desired. I think there was a you know they had multiple store plugs. Um, they uh, they did jokes in it, and I think that this was a more serious video that needed to be, we are making corrections here. And with the CEO even playing into that, the new CEO, which I thought he would have for sure had a better take on this. He's an outsider looking in. He would have made sure he put his foot down and said, I am not putting into anything like you know a joke or... A, a slight you know thing from our sponsors or anything else I wanted to make sure this is going to show the community we're starting off on the right foot because this this apology or response video was going off on the right foot right this that was your leading in point to start off the right foot and a jump and they just burned it to the ground it was um, left much to be desired I, I know people didn't like the monetization at first uh, there was uh, you know, the store plug, the sponsor jokes, and disclosing monetary amounts that other priorities didn't want public, you know, stuff like that in there was not, um, should have been left out. Um, and their response to it was, you know, because, what is it, Dentora um, had said something about this. Uh, they just responded, we are still us. We have an equal number of people complaining that was, Complete that if this was a completely careful corporate response, um, we, so they're just they're just pandering kind of. Hey, we still want to be us. Well, you are you, but you're in it in a different way, and you're in it to be. Hey, this is what I wanted out of it, right? I wanted to show the community. In the next video, we're still the fun line is tech tips. But right now, we are the serious one, and we're going to make our corrections. We're going to get it. Now, they did say that they are pausing videos for a week um, and other things in there. I've I been back and forth on this. Um, to me, I don't think my, my initial reaction stuff, I said I didn't think they needed to pause doing videos for a week. I think what they needed to do was slow down the releases, and then if the videos that they had... You put a full team, and I'm talking maybe you run everybody through, 
you know, watching the video, see if there's any inaccuracies, see what you can do better in there, and then release the video. If it takes a day, or if it's one video a day, or if it takes a couple days, you would have had that example, and it would have still came out, and people would have seen your steps you're taking to kind of even, you know, redo it. Maybe there would have been multiple cuts. They have a lot of editors, so they can do a lot more cuts and a lot more fancy things that I know how to do. Um, and they would have been able to do a lot of that. I think that that's a thing that they missed an opportunity with to show them to, you know, go down the right path. I mean, even this video was flow plane access first instead of for everybody. That's, you know, I, I get you have to pay the bills. I just don't understand why you go down that route instead of saying it's out for everybody people on flow pain too you know linus does have a big community and there's a lot of people that still support linus and everything else and maybe this is just his way to show the people that are really dedicated to him that we like you you know and we want to we want to know that we stand we want to thank you for standing by us and be on float plane but i mean maybe that is a different video right and maybe that's a thank you video uh, for standing by us through this hard time and everything else that's exclusively to flow plane rather than you know a response video that should have been out to everybody I think that you know you when you work through this and I, I don't know who all was involved but um, you know the CEOs from Dell and stuff so I'm sure that there should have been you know he would have had some of that experience from there of what they've done in the past to kind of bring that over and I, that was kind of missing and it was kind of sad to see um, you know I you know sometimes and Linus is more of a Linus Tech Tips is way more of a you know hundred plus people so they're more of a business than me out of my basement just you know creating videos so what he's probably doing is there's a bottom line and we have to get it going but you know, they're spending a lot of money on the labs. I don't know how much, but a lot of money. And just going back to the uh, billet thing, because they mentioned that in the video, in their response video, is that, you know, you didn't want to spend $500 more, but why are you spending so much money on the labs then, and you want to say that we, want, we sh should take that as being right when you're not willing to spend the $500 to get the little things right, you know, the, the smaller thing. And... It, it, to me, it just rings as empty, right? Because you, the $500 is a lot cheaper to do to give, to give Bill Labs that, that block a due uh, review of what it actually is capable of. But then you want me, that, for that, it's just that 500 bucks, right? You said $500 more is not worth it. But the millions of dollars, if it's millions that you're putting into labs, uh, hundreds of thousands, whatever it is, you want to say that all that money you know, those are going to be a very accurate, those are going to be right on task, and there, you know, you, you have to listen to those, because they're going to be on there, but why, if you're spending so much more money, right, are you just taking that many more shortcuts then, or what, uh, that kind of didn't, you know, that kind of ringed empty to me, it's, it's disappointing about how they do the response video, now there, on top of that, there were some allegations going through from Madison and I'll post her tweet below and you can read through it and Linus did go through which I will post that tweet and the community response there that they said that they're taking the allegation seriously they're gonna bring in a uh, they're gonna have a third uh, internal assessment a third-party assessment of the allegations and see what's happening so um, you know I'm not gonna comment too much on that I, I think um, how the workplace environment is dictates a lot and I don't know that workplace environment um, you know it takes a lot to to cultivate a good workplace environment and if they're if the allegations are true this is not a good look and it's something they're gonna have to deal with and the new CEOs in place to get that done now they had you know at the time it was Yvonne was the head of HR, and now they have an HR team. You know, this is something that, you know, I don't, I don't know much about uh, HR and everything else. I've had de dealings with HR um, for, you know, different, 
you know, they have to trainings, and I've also had uh, HR for, you know, um, leave of absence for kids and everything else. I haven't had anything else with HR, so I don't know how they should act or anything like this, or because it's, you know, I'm just doing basic HR stuff, right? Oh, um, you have the yearly training? Okay, let's do it. You have a, um, a time off request for, a, you know, a kid, having a kid, you know, a, a family leave of accidents, you know, stuff like that. It's just I haven't had any other dealings. And, you know, with the legend stuff and everything else, I there's going to be an investigation. We'll know more. I, I can't really comment. I don't want to comment because it, I think it's just more to go there. Now, let's get on moving past this. What can Linus Tech Tips do? I think Gamers Nexus is, uh, they did a video and the easiest thing to do is go back through. I wouldn't even be opposed to re-releasing some of those videos um, from LTT with the corrections in and showing this is how we're correcting them going forward and do a full re-release of the video um, instead of the in-place replacement. I mean, because only certain, you know, I guess bigger channels have this access, it's hard for me to be like, oh yeah, just do an in-place thing because we don't know how many people watched it or anything else because there's no saying this video was corrected by YouTube, right? This video was re-uploaded. And that should kind of be a thing, I think, um, by YouTube. Hey, this video is re-uploaded. And if you've already watched it, send you a notification saying this was re-uploaded, especially if it's a buying decision, because that could be pretty big. Um, I, if you, I did watch the Cortex video as well, and I'll, we'll, I'll get into that too, because I think that that is another option, right? There's so many um, sponsorships that these... Uh, YouTube channel is good. Now, that's not getting a product for review for free. That's I, I don't consider that a sponsorship. I said I consider that, hey, you sending me the product and you want my opinion on it. If it's good, you know, we'll probably get a review. If it's, you know, bad, it'll get a review in, in the negative light. But, you know, that's not a sponsorship. You know, it's, you know, sponsorship is, you know, having a huge, you know, a NVIDIA sponsor right before the day before, you know, you get a big, you know, what is it, 8K display, and then the next day your 3090 review, TI reviews out. So there's, you know, those sort of things, you know, sponsored by, you know, videos where that is, I think, blurring the lines in conflict of interest, especially if a channel supports you and you're testing their product. Let's say you're testing a cooler and that product's there. Um, you know, Cortex, he does some good reviews and stuff too. And one thing that he always ha does is, you know, you'll notice that his reviews aren't actually products that he tests. They are, you know, CD keys, something like that, right? Which are different, which aren't going to affect, um, the company's not pouring money into his channel that, um, on the review he's actually doing, which it, it, it's, you know, something I haven't... I, I, you know, I've kind of stayed out of accepting um, sponsorships overall. I've just been, hey, I'll take a product and I will review a product, but that's it. I don't, I don't want to go through and have the sponsorships yet. And but I'll take a sponsorship, I guess, if it's you know something unrelated to tech or you know unrelated to what I'll be reviewing. That's something I would, you know, do. But I think that's a line. Go listen to Cortex video if I if I remember or somebody reminds me <laughs> in the comments. Hey, post Cortex video, link it. I'll try to link all these videos so that you can um, do it. The WAN show. I think they should do do the WAN show um, Friday, and this video will come out on Friday. So today, I think they should still do it. I think that they need to have a real conversation, even if it's a short WAN show. Um, I, you, you know, these, these, you know, shows like WAN show are a great opportunity to kind of put a explanation and take the questions from the community and address them. Now, does, uh, Taryn, I think it's Taryn, the new CEO need to be on WAN show and discuss it. Maybe you do that. Maybe you put him on there as well. 
and try to, you know, and have him put the foot down and the direction of the conversation. So he's taking the head on the questions. And then if Linus is on there and Luke's on there, they can add in things, but the CEO takes the question and then responds to it. Um, that's a lot on him, but that's what he's there for. And maybe that is a good opportunity to start with the stepping blocks of working back, trust in the community, because uh, it needs something. So, um, also, they, w they want to work on processes. Well, sometimes y you're trying to work on processes and it's not going to work out. It's going to cause more confusion. What you need to do instead is, as you see issues, you, you give employees a bonus. And I've seen this in manufacturing. Um, in fact, there's a book on it uh, as well. And I don't remember the book's name. I've been trying to get it because it's been out of print for a while. Um, but I've read excerpts of it where, and th this is my philosophy as well, is what I think is you give employees a bonus if they find something that is that needs to be improved. It's a good idea that needs to be improved. And, and it's a good way of improving it because uh, you can even give them a bonus if there's a problem and they notice a problem and you, you're like, well, that's, you know, if we can solve this, it's, you know, it'll help with us getting more accurate, better data, whatever else, you know, a better flow, et cetera. But you need to recognize employees when they come and have and encourage them to come forward for this. I think it's also a good thing. And, um, you know, there's been Gamers Nexus things with Linus before with the backpack warranty, et cetera, warranty on products. And this, you got to drop the trust me bro stuff. You got to, you got to, especially now, you can't, you can't keep going along with it with what you've been through and this fallout of everything. You have to go through and say, we're standing on this ground. This is the ground we're standing on. We're not going to, you know, just have the trust out there that's flowing from side to side, right? So that's a little bit of my thoughts on all of this. I know I've been through a lot. I know this is long, um, but I do appreciate all of you going through and staying with it and listening. If um, fly in my house. Uh, <laughs> He's been flying on the windows over here, but I want to thank you so much for supporting and helping this channel grow, sharing the videos, and liking and subscribing. It really does help with the channel, and I really do appreciate it. I thank you so much in doing that, and until next time, God bless.